So there's two ways that ballistic helmets are tested. And one is with the civilian level 3A rating, which means it's supposed to stop everything up to 44 mag with only a certain amount of back face deformation. The other way is V50 rating. So how a V50 rating works is they take extremely small projectiles and accelerate them to extraordinarily high velocities in a, basically what ends up being a gun. And they see when, what point it gets to where 50% of the projectiles go through. The V50 rating is meant to simulate a high explosive device, a professional grade device that's being used on the battlefield. Level 3A is meant to take care of most of the types of fragmentation that you would find inside the continental United States. So today we're going to test against what is a realistic threat for these helmets, for the type of people that are going to buy them to use them on their own, for police officers or private persons that want a ballistic helmet. And I think the most realistic threat that would be faced by a police officer or anybody else that would want a ballistic helmet would be pipe bombs, improvised devices using a low explosive, things like flash powder and gunpowder. What simulates that probably better than anything else that I can manage to get on the range is nine pellet double lot buck. That is what I think a lot of people would end up using as an improvised shrapnel in some type of pipe bomb or other improvised explosive device. So this is Winchester Super X double lot buck nine pellet against the Ballistic Helmet Co helmet. We're gonna go take a look at the damage. So here's where it hit. We're hitting only at a few yards. You can see where the pellets came in and pushed in the aramid fabric of the helmet pretty good. And here is the inside of the helmet. It cracked the inside of the liner here. Let's get this out of your way for you. And pushed the helmet in quite significantly, you can see, in comparison with the other side but none of the pellets penetrated through. This is pretty much what I would consider your worst case scenario. This would be a pipe bomb going off really, really close to your head. But I'd say the 12 gauge double lot buckshot into the ballistic helmet is a pretty good and realistic test of the things that most people are gonna see as an actual threat using this inside the United States on the street. All right, so we're gonna try to hit it right square in the center of the head with 158 grain 357 out of my four inch Smith 686. Well, that hurts something. All right, so here is the front of our helmet and here's the impact point right at the bottom and square on the front of the helmet and it actually chipped a little piece out of the night vision attachment point and it blew out the edge of the helmet but there's the round inside okay are you catching that on the other one derek we're going to take you guys into the light here take you into the light i want you to be able to see that this didn't penetrate through the round is right up in there. You can see the jacket on there. Then on the inside, we have an awful lot of back face here, not as much as with the 12 gauge. I'll pull this out of the way. There's pretty good back face deformation, but the round did not go through. It got caught by the Kevlar inside the helmet. So we're gonna try something bigger. All right, now we're gonna have my buddy Derek. He's gonna hit the helmet on the right side with a 45 ACP. This is just 230 grain hardball out of a Glock 21. Go ahead, Derek. All right, let's go take a look. All right, so we got the hit with 45 ACP right here and on the back. It cracked the internal liner of the helmet a little bit here, but there's clearly no penetration. And you can see our back face deformation is about what we got with 12 gauge with uh, 12 gauge buckshot. <laughs> 